G'day guys, Steve Morgan for Fishing Monthly Magazines, boat testing at the Patterson River in Victoria and I'm here with Brian, the Colonel Sanders in his biggest of the North Bank range. This is a 750 hardtop from North Bank and we've tested North yep. Banks before and in these hardtops, Paddy Dangerfield yes. had the 650, what a wonderful machine that was, only had one Verado on it, this, this powered by two Mercury 225 Verados and uh, Brian, you must be pretty proud of this boat. Mate, I'm stoked, this boat is really ticking all the boxes, especially with our up and coming new shows. It is awesome. It really is. Now, you've built this boat for filming your show, yep. um, and the one thing when I jump on board that I immediately see is the massive amount of cockpit space. That's got to be your number one priority, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. You've got a cameraman walking around that's rough. You're on three or four metre swirls plus a chop big chop, the boat's rocking them, you've got to have room. It's as simple as that. Now, I noticed that these, uh, the two Mercuries, you've got them set up with the Mercury Active Trim, which is a great new feature, which means you can sort of set and forget trimming. And in the real world, how have you found the Active Trim's worked? It is beyond words. It is that good. I thought I was pretty good at trimming boats, and I will fly my flag there. Yep. And then once you hit that on button, it really shows you how bad I was. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I tell you what, with two engines too, it's important because you need to get the trims level, and uh, not all of us can do that uh, no. when we've got lots of other things to think about on the water. Before these came up, I was lucky enough to get on a boat that had twin engines and then let me drive it a lot, so I had a pretty good understanding. But this active trim, mate... It's pretty good. Oh, now yes. look, I see electronically this boat has got all of the gear as well. You've we got have. a couple of 7412, the Garmin's on there. Yep. They run your autopilot. You've got, of course, all your fish finder and plotting yep. stuff. Yes. Uh, and you've also got the Garmin radar on the top. You yes, find, mate. You find as a package they all work well together? It's absolutely brilliant. I'm still learning it because we did, had, did have a different brand on the last boat. Yep. And uh, we're lucky enough that the boys at Melbourne Marine and that are really helping us out, Andrew and that. So it's really good. Um, up in the cockpit, the other things I saw up there, you've got the uh, you've got the remote controlled Narva spotlight, which must be pretty cool for docking at night, launching at night, all of the nighttime activities. Mate, it's great. You flick it on and just move down to where the pier is, and you just go, oh, how good is this? And if someone's uh, annoying you, you can just blind them instantly. We, we tried that on <laughs> Eric the other day. <laughs> now uh, the other thing you've got the uh, the variable variable speed Lone Star anchor winch there. Tell us tell us what that does. Mate, it's a brushless um, anchor winch, and when I say it's brushless, it doesn't have brushes in it and Malky has really gone and taken it to the next level. That's why we put it in the boat. It is, as far as I'm concerned, the best winch on the market by far. But the, it the, is the variable speed, it's all about it's all about you doing the long it. yards quick and then it, yeah. inching it when you get close to yeah. the boat. You can go whoop and bring it up really, really fast until it comes to the load point. Then you just back off a bit, let that massive torque from that winch pull the anchor out of the mud and then go whoop, and just bang it straight in and it's great for if you're whiting fishing and you just need to go out a couple more meters because the whiting might have just moved down a little bit just knock the switch you know just give it a bit of a and out it comes again and mate it's brilliant and quiet very very quiet now the north bank boats we've tested a lot of north bank boats at uh, fishing monthly magazine yep. i've been pretty impressed by all of them the, the finish is good the ride is good they're made in australia and south australia how closely did you work with north bank putting this together it was i was so lucky with north bank and, and rob cummins and that really sat me down invited us over to adelaide and we went through the whole complete package step by step by step and uh without his support it wouldn't be here today as well. It, we're really lucky. Now, I noticed this, of course, is on a, it's a serious boat and it's on a serious trailer. Yes. Um, you tow this with, a, with a, an Isuzu D-Max. Um, yes. Is that getting close to the towing capability? Yes, it is, and we have to admit it's really on the limit. Uh, we do tow around with basically no fuel in it, yep. um, but we have another vehicle coming very shortly, but at the moment, it's perfectly legal. Yep, no worries at all, and of course, it's not uh, over width or anything. It's Nothing under that 2.5 like metre limit. perfectly loop. in place on the beautiful uh, trans-style trailer. Yep. So that's why we've gone for that, for the weight as well, because it's or not quite half the weight. Yeah, you betcha. Well, I'm pretty excited to get this rig in the water and uh, go for a drive with the Colonel. We're going to see how she performs out there, and I'll bring you some performance stats in just a second.
Well, we do test a lot of boats at Fishing Monthly magazines and I can tell you that the Colonel 750 North Bank hardtop is an absolute treat to be in on a, well, it's not a totally rough day on Port Phillip Bay, but it's got 15 knots, it's got a little bit of chop and it's not particularly comfortable. Well, not on most boats in the market. Um, the questions that I think people would ask about this boat is uh, how much fuel do those two big Verados use? Now I'm unashamedly a Verado fan, um, they're quiet, they've got plenty of power. Um, their best efficiency was at 3000 RPM where you got a kilometre for every litre of fuel burn. Now that's not per engine, that's collectively between the two engines. So, uh, so at typical, albeit slow cruising speeds, there's pretty good economy. The Colonel likes uh, cruising at about uh, 50 kilometres an hour, that gave you probably about 850 metres per litre of fuel burn collectively between those outboards. But if you want to really put your foot down and burn some, if you're going 87 kilometres an hour at 6400 RPM, you can burn 187 litres an hour between those two Verados. And uh, if you've got some money to burn, that's where you'd be sitting on. Surprisingly, that sort of speed in this chop, this boat really did chew it up. So uh, performance wise, a great boat to be in. It's the, the bulk and the size of this boat makes it a very comfortable boat to be in. Um, other things I liked about this boat are the really high gunnels on the sides. Like there is no problems fishing three guys along the side, maybe five or even six guys can come fishing out of this boat and they are feeling very safe and secure inside of this boat. And of course the massive cockpit space. Like there is so much cockpit space in this. I can lie down in this thing and uh, I could sleep across here fully stretched out. There's room to burn, it's what he needs for his TV show and uh, it's very efficient when it comes to fishing. There's room for everything in here. Um, the other things I love, I love the gunnel door here. Uh, this is very easy to use, you just swing it in and out and we were moving between boats today to do drone shots and all sorts of stuff that makes it very efficient to get in and out and over these high gunnels. Um, overall, very comfortable boat. How much is it going to cost? Well, if you set one of these up with a 300 horsepower Verado, a single engine, uh, you can get into one for $165,000. So she's definitely not your starter boat that you can tow with a four-cylinder family car, but it is definitely a big comfortable boat if that's what you want. Uh, made in Australia, great rig. As tested, the Colonel's boat set up here with the twin Verados, $217,000 on that great trailer. So uh, if you want more information, you can go to Northbank dot au, uh, or you can go to melbourne marine center dot com dot au they're the guys that set up this boat for the colonel but uh, as far as boat testing in uh, on rough days goes this thing's an absolute pleasure to be in i bet it would be an absolute uh, pleasure to fish in and until next time steve morgan checking out from uh, port phillip bay in melbourne